This is the difference between people who believe in free speech and the people who believe in censorship, right? People who believe in free speech believe that you should have free speech and I should have free speech and everybody should have free speech. Those people who believe in censorship believe that you should be censored if your ideas go against what they believe. They don't believe that they should be censored, right? So the hissy fit that's being thrown on Twitter right now is not the left being worried that they're gonna get censored because they're not gonna get censored. The only thing that they're gonna lose is the ability to censor others, right? The definition of that is fucking fascism, right? Or fucking communism, right? Whatever you wanna call it, fucking totalitarianism. So those morons that believe in censorship that are fucking freaking out because someone's coming in from whatever side they're coming in from, right? It, 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 some people would consider Elon Musk to be the left side because these electric cars environmentally friendly that they're not. But don't worry about that, right? They're throwing a hissy fit because he's coming in and he wants he wants to take that power away from them. So what are they worried about? They're worried about losing power over you and me. Right? That's the game at play between Elon Musk and Twitter right now. Twitter's a shit thing, garbage. There are way better platforms out there, new tech coming up that's phenomenal, amazing discussion being taken place. Mines, Gap, Getter, Twi uh, BitCloud, um, Parler, uh, tons of other platforms. There are forums that you can join and participate in discussion gilded we got one on gilded right there are tons of other forums that you can join right why in the world because some elites have accounts there fuck the elites watch what happens to twitter when if elon musk the richest person in the world the uh, the greatest human meme known to mankind right says F Twitter, I'm going to another platform. Watch Twitter stock go from $46 down to $15 in a matter of a week, right? And then if he wants to buy out Twitter, go in there and offer him a couple of billion less than that and say, I'll, I'll take piece, this piece of shit off your hands, right? That's my take on Ellen and Twitter. Sorry if I'm going off a little bit, but might as well cover all the angles as many of them as possible anyway.